Angelica joining us once again on a hot weekend ahead. That's right, Cam, and up north they actually do have a red flag warning, so the conditions are still primed for fires, and in our area we're also tracking elevated fire danger. The heat also a side effect of the Santa Ana winds we have now in place. As we look outside, you can see it is clear. Typically when those winds out of the east downslope towards the coast, they get rid of any clouds. They just get rid of all moisture in the air and that's why it gets so dry outside relative humidity at about 26 percent in san diego and a typical day here it's closer to 60 percent so way drier 15 percent in julian 13 and warner springs you get the idea here it is very very dry it doesn't take much you can probably feel it in your skin how dry it is when is this dry it really makes a difference looking at the temperatures it is very warm 82 degrees in ramona 90s in escondido 81 Kearney mesa up and down our coastline we have 80s as well oceanside at 84 degrees 73 in la jolla high pressure still in charge we see a couple of systems but everything bypassing our area this rich of high pressure working as a shield, not really letting any storms to move in. It's when that ridge begins to move east that we'll start to see some changes and it'll happen this weekend. There it is, that red flag warning, including Los Angeles and up north, also close to Santa Barbara. Here in San Diego, winds out of the east. They are hollowing at this hour, although they have already peaked. We've had reports of winds over 50 miles per hour already today. They will continue to weaken. You can see 20, 25 miles per hour on average at, right now at this 4 o'clock hour and as we continue into the evening the winds will range between 20 30 miles per hour expecting those winds to continue into tomorrow but they will continue to get weaker overnight and into the early part of the day the problem is that as long as we still have that easterly pattern, it is going to keep things dry. So it's when we see a shift, which will happen on Sunday, that temperatures will start to cool down and there could even be a touch of drizzle. Overnight, temperatures will gradually make their way back down to the 60s and even some 50s by tomorrow morning. In comparison to the last couple of days, this is so much better for the early morning hours, not as cold. In the afternoon, we'll see those temperatures climbing once again tomorrow due to the lingering side effects effect of those Santa Ana winds. Temperatures will be in the 80s and 90s once again around the county. In our seven day forecast, mid 80s for the coast, dropping about 10 degrees by Sunday, upper 60s Monday with drizzle expected in the morning. Patchy fog could also bring a touch of drizzle Tuesday morning. And then communities will be in the low 90s tomorrow, upper 70s on Sunday with patchy drizzle developing overnight into the early morning commute on Monday. Temperatures will be in the low 70s and by the end of the week, the numbers will recover closer to normal by Thursday and Friday, but for the beginning of next week, most areas will be slightly cooler than normal. So we're going from above average today and tomorrow to below normal for the beginning of next week, but closer to average by the end of next week. So the changes continue for now. Try to stay cool and we'll be 